24 hours away from the start of the World Series, the Dodgers against the Red Sox. Yes, and in addition to battling Boston in Game 1, L.A. will be battling the cold. Sports director Jim Hill and our Tom Wade are live in a very chilly Boston for us tonight. Jim, lead us off. Pat, thank you very much. We are outside Fenway Park here in Boston, Massachusetts, where tomorrow it is game one of the Fall Classic, the best of seven series for the uh, World Series championship. The Dodgers, the National League champions for the second year in a row. Now, temperatures tomorrow night could be in the high 70s or maybe down into the low, into the low 40s. That's, that, it has that much variation as far as the temperature is concerned. But for Clayton Kershaw, who's the starting pitcher tomorrow, and his teammates, they will be ready. Well, as a starting pitcher, you get pretty loose, pretty warm um, before the game. And then, you know, the, seat, the trick is to try and stay loose in between innings. But once you're out there um, and once you're loose, there's really not that much of a difference between warm or cold. Um, you know, obviously, I haven't pitched in the cold very much, done it a few times. But it's, uh, you know, once you get loose, once you get out there, it's really not that much different. You don't care what the temperature is going to be like. No, I don't think anybody cares. You know, I got a little cold right now, but... We'll be out there snuggled up, Vaseline, uh, what else, oil, uh, baby oil, all that. With our Chicken noodle our, soup? Everything. You don't care what the temperature is? No, I don't think, uh, like I said, I don't think uh, the temperature is going gonna, gonna to be a big factor uh, physically. So um, hopefully uh, everybody uh, just stays warm and uh, we can get it going. So Clayton Kershaw, the starting pitcher for the Dodgers tomorrow, and his uh, teammates who are in the World Series for the second straight year say they are going back to their hotel, get a good night's rest, and tomorrow they hope to take off and get a best-of-seven lead of one game to none in the best-of-seven series. And, of course, we'll have all the highlights for you right here on CBS2 and our sister station, KKL9. Reporting live now from the World Series in Boston, Massachusetts, I'm Jim Hill. Back to you in the studio. All right, Jim, thanks for that. Well, our Tom Wade is also in Boston for the World Series. And, Tom, you say that there are a lot of Dodger fans who have already traveled there as well, right? Yeah, that's right, Jeff and Pat. Not only are there a lot of Dodgers fans, they're driving around blaring I love L.A. right in front of Fenway Park. So that's kind of entertaining. I'm not sure, sure that's entertaining for the Boston fans, but, yeah, see, we have one of our Dodger fans right here right now. Now, take a look up at that blue banner. All right, so you see that's the 2018 banner for the Red Sox. Of course, they won the American League. We want to make sure that does not turn to red because that's what they do when they win the World Series. They turn those banners red. We're going to make sure that we bring home the championship. And also, we talked to some fans that came all the way out from L.A. today. How excited are you to be here in Boston to see this game? Very excited. Very, very, very. You want to say hi to your mom? Is she watching? Yes. Hello, Mommy. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, yeah, tell us, what, you're here with your son. What does uh, it yes. mean to be here with your son in Boston at Fenway? Yeah, I mean, it's an uh, experience, unbelievable experience. Uh, we were in Houston also, and f for us to be here again, and it's just, it's just priceless. It really is. I mean, to see uh, the Dodgers come back to the World Series this time, I mean, it's an amazing, amazing feat. It, it is. And, you know, um, the Dodgers really, if, if their bats are hot, we're going to be fine. You know, that's bottom line. You know, the rest is, they're, they're great in offense, and their pitching is amazing. It's just their, uh, you know, the batting. And sharing this with your son, too, what an amazing. You know, it's, it, you know, it's something that he'll remember for the rest of his life, and hopefully he'll do this when, with his kids one day. Everyone seems to be having a good time. The Boston fans are being nice. The Dodgers fans are being nice. But that's probably because nobody's lost a game yet. <laughs> we'll see how that all changes tomorrow. Reporting live here <laughs> outside of Fenway Park, I'm Tom Wade. Pat and Jeff, back to you. All right. Good observation there, Tom.